Hey, what's up, YouTube family? OCO to all my indigenous Niji out there. Uh, just want to talk to y'all real quick. I'm just going to keep this video real uh, short. I just want to give y'all a little uh, positive message, a little bit of positivity, um, you know, to get y'all through y'all day. Um, before I uh, get into that, I uh, just want to thank everybody that's been giving me all the positive, good comments, all the positive uh, support. And please keep on doing that. Also, uh, make sure y'all doing it for your own communities. Uh, do it for your own households. And, you know, when you're out and about, just, you know, try your best to be a good human being as much as you can. I'm a, and I can guarantee that God will take care of y'all. God knows your heart. And uh, all them little small, kind deeds that that go unseen, trust me, God sees it all. So y'all just keep on building up all y'all positive karma. Cause all that positive karma is going to keep on blessing y'all. So blessing to all the people that's tuning into the video. I uh, wish health onto y'all households. I wish health, I mean wealth into your households. I wish protection into y'all households. Um, I wish uh, understanding into y'all households. Um, hopefully y'all be, be, be able to understand the message that I'm trying to uh, perceive to y'all. But uh, real quick, I just want to talk to y'all. Uh, I guess while we're doing that, I'll let y'all look at Max. We'll look at Max. Um, let me switch. But uh, this is my boy Max. Just want to give y'all a little bit of a uh, little, little, you know, a little uh, background while I'm talking to y'all. So we put Max. We'll look at Max while I'm talking to y'all. We got Legacy over there. She's wanting to talk. And that dog is a talker too. I'm telling y'all. Um, actually, we'll, uh, I'm going to be taking her back to my mother. Sometime this week, um, she's out of heat now. Just got done bringing her to my boy Diesel. Pretty sure they're going to take, um, hopefully, good little willing she'll take. Um, and this would be my, me and my mother co own this dog. So a lot of the uh, the profits from the puppies will be going to my mother also. So y'all not, y'all, y'all only not also helping me, but y'all also helping my family members. And I greatly appreciate y'all. I know a lot of people have been interested about these, uh, this letter here. And um, y'all to stay tuned on that. So we'll go back to Max. But I just wanted to, to talk to y'all real quick. Um, cause we live in a very strange time. A very, I would say, a cold-hearted time now. Uh, the Bible speaks about people's hearts waxing cold. Um, y'all need to pay attention to the signs. If you've seen some of my earlier videos, I actually speak, I spoke about some of these things. I think it was after that concert that happened with, um, uh, Travis Scott. And I was telling y'all that y'all would see a lot more of these, um, uh, things like far as with the concert, what happened in that concert. And also a lot of these weather phenomena will continue to get worse and worse. I told y'all in that video, um, Matt's went in the house, so we go to legacy. And I wasn't, um, saying that to scare anyone, but more so it's more so of a warning so y'all can see understand the times that we're living in um i know you're very i know y'all probably familiar what happened in uh the tornadoes that took place over the last uh weekend max we're gonna go back to max because she's doing a little bit too much talking and a lot of it's a lot of destruction a lot of people was killed max max and um and that's what I'm talking about. So you got things like that that's taking place, right? Y'all see all the destruction and stuff taking place. People are literally dying. Shh, be quiet, legacy. I'm talking. Shh, be quiet. People are li literally dying every day. And this is my problem. So you got that going on. And also I wasn't I guess it's just my ignorance or just how our mainstream media is set up because they don't really tell you about this, you know, serious issues, but I wasn't aware and this is main, my main topic of this video. I wasn't aware of um, what was going on in Flint, Michigan, Michigan with the water. I guess they got very bad water quality. And I was checking out some uh, the videos and stuff, man. The water is literally like brownish. And I guess a lot of people have been getting um, high lead poison and things of that nature. Leg, psh, be quiet. She wants to talk. Um... So you got that going on. Apparently that's been going on for months. And if y'all look at the demographic of uh, what ethnics is primarily staying in the area, you can probably take a wild guess. And that's my issue right there. Once, you know, 
Uh, we have things like that going on where these people are literally being poisoned. The water they, is not drinkable, but you want to have these visitors or these foreigners that, I should say, these foreigners that uh, stay past their visit, that want to come and, you know, on your YouTube channel or, you know, or in your business or anything of that nature that want to come and try to criticize you for things of, uh, far as with my animals, for example. Uh, y'all got to forget, uh, remember these are a lot, these are, these, this is livestock. These are my stock. You know, these are animals and what's going on in Michigan. Those are human beings and not a, you know what I'm saying? We need to take that same energy that y'all have towards these animals and want to criticize a lot of us, uh, uh, I would say us color people about what we're doing with our, uh, businesses or what, you know, just trying to do positive things and people want to come and try to bash you and still want to try to you know, beat you down. And it's enough of that that's been going on. I'm tired of it. Um, we should be, fo we, we need to focus our energy towards more positive things. Got people over here literally being poisoned. Okay. But we want to be more concerned about uh, animals in barrels. But we have human beings that's living in conditions with no uh, cold winter conditions with no power, no water, and y'all, uh, you know what I'm saying? I think that's a that's a serious problem. But you, but we will probably a lot of people will turn a cold, you know, turn a turn their shoulder to these people, turn their backs to these people, and don't even try to help them. Why? Oh, maybe because they're not. Um, I'm, I, you know, I'm not trying to divide anyone or anything like that. But I'm just saying it because it's true. Maybe because they're not the ethnics that you prefer. You know, and it's sad, but it's true. We want to build these uh, industrial plants and all of these, you know, things where it's polluting the water around these uh, concentration camps. I mean, ghettos that they want to put a lot of uh, these um, color people in. And these people are being like, again, they're being poisoned by their environment. And but we want to take we want to take time to the bash people about. Uh, living conditions for their livestock. Now we're talking about livestock. In the end of the day, I love my animals to death, but these are my these. This is this is my livestock, you know. And then another thing, you shouldn't be going around looking to bash anyone anyway. Like, what's the, what's the purpose of that? What are you doing for society? What is your purpose for society? You know what I'm saying? I guess every you know it's good and evil. So yeah, maybe your role is just to be evil. But hey, if that's the path you want to take, more power to you. I want to uplift people. I want to let them know that, you know, I come from the struggle. So I, I, I understand the struggle. And I want I want to let those people know that you all just keep on pushing, keep on pushing, keep on believing in God, keep on being good. Because I know it's some of the goodest people that's going through the, these these uh, type of conditions, hard times. And uh, don't give up. Don't and uh, don't allow people to tear y'all down. You know, people. I mean, I'm, I'm it's, it's sad. They're so quick to try to tear you down instead of try to uplift you. You know what I'm saying? So I want to just take the time to recognize all the people that's going through the struggle. All the people that's going through the struggle. I know what it is to go through the struggle. And and that's why I take pride in these animals. These dogs were built on going through a struggle. These dogs can survive a struggle. You know what I'm saying? These dogs were built to go through things. They shouldn't have a... Uh, you shouldn't have to do a whole bunch of extra treatment for your animal for them to, to survive, you know, just like, you know, we go through the struggle and we're, we're strong individuals. These animals are built the same way. So I just want to take the time to recognize all y'all individual that's going through it. I know it's more y'all that's going through the struggle than, than the, the ones that done had a uh, life pretty much laid out for them on a silver platter, you know, but at the end of the day, those people there are very miserable. They're very miserable. Uh, they have no joy. That's why they go looking for to try to tear other people's joy and happiness down. Anything positive, they want to destroy it. You know, it's in their nature. And I will say this. We are not at war against flesh and blood. We are, we are at war against evil spirits and principalities. So at the end of the day, that's what, don't even waste your time trying to like engage with these individuals because they're just really it's the it's the spirits in them. OK, uh, let God handle that. Y'all just continue to be good people, continue to to be uh, God's people. I should say that continue to be good God people, righteous people. You know, <coughs> excuse me. And um, just like, again, just go out in your communities 
Uh, it don't cost you anything to be a good person, to be a kind person. And your kindness can really change someone's life. I'm telling y'all, uh, take the time uh, to talk to y'all elders. Um, respect y'all elders, you know. I, I see a lot of disrespect going on. Um, my mother raised me, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, yes, sir, no, sir. You know, th things of that nature, you know, that was how I was raised on. And uh, my mama gets a lot of compliments about how her children are so very uh, well-mannered. So, again, so I think things like that will carry you a very long ways in life. Again, I come from a struggle, but I'm but I represent what you're capable of doing when you just continue to believe in yourself and do not allow negativity to d discourage you. Y'all keep on believing in t believing to yourself, believing what y'all are doing. Uh continue to believe uh trust your families, help your families, trust God, believe in God, and everything's going to be okay. Um that's about it for right now. And again, like I've been telling y'all, uh, especially y'all uh, color folk, go do y'all uh, research about y'all y'all past history. Um, I think once you really understand what I'm getting at about that, you will understand y'all true true potential. You know, once y'all understand who y'all really are, y'all will understand y'all true potential. So I just want to use my platform to uh, continue continue to spread awareness, uh, continue to spread positivity. And I want to continue to do what I've been doing for so many people that's been reaching. I have been uh, not, you know, not a, I'm not, not a, I, you know, I guess a few people. I had a few, you know, a good amount of people reaching out to me. And they're really been giving me, uh, they're thanking me for what I'm doing. And, and it's, I can tell that, uh, that my messages are getting across and it's uplifting people. And that's what I, ultimately, that's what I want. I'm going to use my platform. Look at this boy here. Pee right in his water. Y'all see what I'm saying? So, all right, so you go get him fresh water, right? He just literally peed in his bucket. You know what I'm saying? These are, because they're animals. They're livestock people. I don't, I swear, people, it, it's ridiculous of what, they'll tell you some crazy, they'll say some crazy things. And again, like I was telling y'all in my other video, don't try to compete with anyone. Uh, do what you can do. Uh, you've been on trying to put yourself in a financial hole trying to listen to what everybody else trying to tell you to do. So just continue to do, do what you're capable of doing. Don't try to compete with no one else. You don't got to explain nothing to no one. You got to show no one uh, anything, especially foreigners that has uh, stayed past their visit on these lands, I should say. Um, so it's pretty funny to me. You know, I find it ironic. And if I say I don't um, give none of these people no type of energy, it's no need. You know what I'm saying? It's no need. I say this again. We are not at war against flesh and blood. We, at, we are at war against evil spirits and principalities. So, hey, I'm going to let God handle that. Um, I just want to continue to do what I'm doing. And that's good, talk to y'all good people. Give y'all some good positive energy, you know, because that's what it's going to. That's what we need to be doing. We need to be spreading as much positivity as we can, because as y'all can see, we are living in some very, very, very interesting times. And I'm, I can promise y'all, listen to what I'm saying now that things will get a whole lot worse before they get better. So y'all need to make sure y'all got yourself spiritually prepared. Spiritually, you need to build yourself up spiritually. Have your mindset, everything prepared spiritually. Okay, you can have all the food, all the money, all whatever in the world. But uh, when that day comes, I don't think that's going to save you. I think you being spiritually grounded, being a good, righteous person is what's going to get us through all of this. So, uh, that's about it, my good people. Um, again, I don't, uh, I'm not trying to attack anyone. I just want to get that. I want to say that for the people that need, need to hear what I'm saying. And the people that, uh, need to hear what I'm saying, the message will be received to them. I just want to let y'all know, y'all just keep on fighting. Keep on fighting, people. Y'all just keep on fighting, keep on pushing, and better days are coming. So, uh, I'm going to turn it off here. Uh, Shout out, shout out to Dan Colloway. Y'all go to Dan's Colloway channel. Uh, if you are, or if you are a color person and go check out his content. Um, it's probably a lot of things up there. That's going to help y'all out understanding what I'll keep saying about y'all being indigenous and understanding y'all past. So, uh, make sure y'all do that. And also, um, I will have the link for all my social media down in the description box. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I just took some recent pictures of a uh, journey. Him and my my daughter. It was some very good pictures. Y'all should go out there and check them out. They'll be on my Facebook and uh my Instagram is B Hill Bullies. 
Uh, well, I'm sorry. B Hill underscore bullies. I repeat that. Instagram is B Hill underscore bullies. Um, that's my Instagram and the social media and all of that would be in the link in the description box. So, um, I might, I'm gonna try to tag, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tag Dan Colloway's channel in there too, to make it a little bit easier for y'all. So make sure I go, y'all go check that out and, uh, y'all continue to be good people. Uh, love your mamas, love your grandparents, love your daddies, uh, take care of y'all kids. Y'all spend time with your kids, love y'all kids. And like my great grand, well, not my great grandfather, like my, I want to say great when I say great, you know, like a, he's a great man. But my, like my grandfather said, he told me, and these words are always stuck with me. Love conquers all. Y'all be blessed, people.